If you're looking for a new challenge on puzzle games, this is called Ken Ken. Have you heard of it? Let's learn to play it. So this is a super simple version of a Ken Ken right here. It's four by four, meaning there's four in a row across and four in a row down. Much like a Sudoku puzzle, you need to have numbers, one, two, three, and a four in row or column. But unlike that puzzle, it's, it's not about a grid of nine. So what you have is you have different boarded sections. For example, this one is boarded with this one, this one, this one, and this top one. You've got these two here. You've got these two boarded here. You have this one that has three, this one by itself, and this. And what you need to do is you need to have a number, one, two, three, four, where the numbers within the larger border equal that number. In this particular case, you need to have numbers that when multiplied together equal 12 using this can box, this box, this box, and this box. You in this in, in these four, you would need four numbers that go together that multiply to 48. So let's go ahead and walk through a simple puzzle. I also have much more difficult versions on how to play this. So after you've learned this one, please keep going to the harder levels. So let's get going. The first thing I like to do, and I can't do it on the screen, so I do it on the side, is I write down the numbers, one through four, or if it's a five by five grid, one through five, and I put it on my computer next to me. There's something about staring at the numbers that will just help when it's the math and you're trying to think of what times what times what times what equals 48. So the first thing we're gonna do is we've got a gimme. In this box, it's basically telling you that a two needs to go there. There's nothing that needs to be multiplied, subtracted, or divide, divided. But it does create a great situation here where we now know one, three, and four must go here. One, three, and four must go here. So we're gonna go ahead and put in pencil marks three and four in each of these three squares. And since we know that Ultimately, it's going to have to be multiplication. It does mean that when we do know the order, a 1 times a 3 times a 4 equals 12. So if we were to do the math and go 48 is the number we need to get to, and 48 divided by 12 equals what? The answer is 4. So we're going to know that this is a 4. Let's do the same logic up here, where we know a 2 can't be there, so it's either got to be a 1, 3, or four. Same here. Oh, but it didn't give me a four because of the four there. Up here, we know it has to be a one, three, or four. And here, it has to be a one, three, or four. Now let's come back to this. Now, now we know it's one, three, and four, and we know one times three times four equals 12. There really can only be one candidate here. Since we have to total 12, you, can ult you must be multiplying it by one because one times three times four is 12, times one is 12, it's the only number. So let's put the one there. So now three and a four must go there. That means there is a two that must go here. So now let's talk about this. So what we know is that one of these is a four and one of these is a two. And since a four can't be here because of that, this one must be the four and subtracted there. This one must be the two. And now you can see there's only one possible combination that can go there. It's the three, and now it's subtracted that, meaning there's only one possible combination that can go there, and thus only one possible combination that can go there. Let's move ahead to this, which is something divided by something equals two. Well, it needs to be an even divisible number. So again, this can only be two options. This can be four divided by two. Four and two could be in either spot but also two divided by one also equals two. Being that there's a four here, so four couldn't go here, and there's a four here, so four couldn't go here, four divided by two doesn't work for this situation. Also, there's a four here. So the only way that something divided by something could be two is it has to be two divided by one. Two can't go here because of this, so therefore that must be a two, and therefore that must be a one. Now, as you can see, we remove that pencil mark, meaning that must be a three, and that solves these. And now we're getting closer to solving the end of this puzzle. If we look at this column, one, two, four, well, this must be a three. And now one, three, four, well, this must be a two. 
And again, this is 8 plus, so it means this plus this plus this is 8. 3 plus 2 is 5. So this is going to have to be a 3. And you can see 1, 2, it's missing a 3. So this must be a 3. So now it's solved. I want you to keep going because in the next video, we're going to make it much harder.